we start into uh, the topic, Hubby's in the kitchen and he's going to be cooking dinner so I don't wither away. So if you hear some banging, that's the wishing that's being cooked. Second, I would like to start doing blind versus blindfold challenges. And uh, I really need your help with uh, situations I can get uh, Shane to actually blindfold himself into. So, throwing it out there, if you guys could leave suggestions in the comments, that'd be great. So, here it is. I went to work with Shane today, and we were talking to our friend Mick Tesler at Everyday Deer Town there in Tennessee. And it's so dry there that when he cuts the grass, he's covered in dust. And he says there's times you have to wear a mask. Well, it got me thinking. I have a friend from my old church. Her sister-in-law passed away in July from severe advanced COPD. And it made me sit there and think, she had to be on the oxygen tank 24-7, just walking three or four steps, she was winded, and even talking on the phone took maybe five minutes and she was out of breath. Well, just like so you guys know, she knew the Lord, so yes, she's in a much better place and no COPD. Anyway, it got me thinking of what I went through. Now, I never had COPD, but I had a pulmonary doctor in my third hospital because I contracted pneumonia from aspirating. And they couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. Well, they did two lung washes on me. Now, if you're really curious, you can Google it or YouTube it. But they lightly sedate you so you're so awake so they can, you know, check vital signs. But what they do is through the trach I had in my throat, they put a saline solution into my lungs to eat away some of the mucus, and then they would suck it out. Well, they did it twice, and it was not very productive, but through a very non-orthodox solution by Jolly Rancher consumption, my mucus came up. And we'll leave it at that. But with my lungs compromised like that, one of my right lobes, a quarter of it is permanently gone. It doesn't work at all anymore. So I do have uh, compromised lungs, and I've been inconsolable a couple times since then, and I have breathing attacks where I pretty much breathe through snorting because I can't breathe normally. And it just made me think of all the dust in the air right now because of our drought. Man, I take my breathing for granted. I've worked on my lung capacity, so the part that doesn't work doesn't bother me as much. But why I'm sitting there with all this dryness and dust, and people do have to wear masks, I am very lucky and blessed by my creator that um, I don't have to be on an oxygen tank, that I don't get short of breath unless I have a really intense workout.
but that's just hard breathing. I get that back in like five minutes. So please be careful of the drought. And uh, if you need to wear a mask, don't think less of yourself because your lungs are so important that I never thought I would ever have a problem. And by the grace of my Lord, I don't. But today I thought about it. And I just want all of you to be careful because it can be a problem. And I do pray for all of you and think of all of you. So just be careful out there. And always remember, no sight, no problem.